Ada and Iggy had been helping Rosie all morning. She was trying to invent something for her uncle, Zookeeper Fred. Uncle Fred had a big snake problem. And a little snake problem. And a green snake problem. And a... Uncle Fred had an every kind of snake problem. Every kind of snake in the zoo loved him. They slithered out of the cages and into his office. They hid in his desk, in his pockets, even in his lunch. One day, a smooth green snake named Vern hid in his sandwich. Uncle Fred thought that Vern was a wiggly pickle and almost took a bite. After that, Uncle Fred called Rosie. She invented a contraption to scare away snakes. She called it the snake away. It failed. She tried again, and again, and again. Rosie invented five models. They all failed, but she did not give up. Uncle Fred needed her help. Rosie had hoped that the snake away model five would do the job. She looked at the mess. The fake snake on the table was covered in ketchup. It looked like a gigantic striped french fry with fangs. Uncle Fred would not like an invention that left ketchup all over his desk. He was a mustard kind of guy. And besides, it might attract ants. And possibly french fries. Rosie added some notes about her testing. Model 1. Fabulous flap. Model 2. Magnificent mess. Model 3, Creative Catastrophe. Model 4, Distinguished Dud. Model 5, Ketchupy Kerfuffle. The three friends cleaned up the mess. Then they shared peanut butter and honey sandwiches and talked about why the test failed. After lunch, Ada and Iggy went home, and Rosie kept working. She looked at the contraption. A tube had exploded because a kink in the line blocked the ketchup. The pressure of the ketchup built up until... Boom! Aha, said Rosie. She jotted down ideas to fix the problem. Snake away model six would work better. She was sure of it. Well, she was almost sure. There was only one way to find out. She would make changes to the machine and test again. Rosie was about to start when she heard a familiar whirring, purring, clanging, banging sound and looked out the window. It was great, great Aunt Rose. Rose stuck her pencil behind her ear, crammed her notebook into her pocket, and ran outside as Aunt Rose landed the Helio cheese copter in the yard. Hey, hey, called Aunt Rose. How's my favorite engineer? Aunt Rose hopped out of the aircraft and twirled Rosie around in a giant hug. My new invention is a disaster, said Rosie. Brilliant, said Aunt Rose. Tell me about it on the way. Are we going somewhere? Asked Rosie. You bet we are, said Aunt Rose. And there's no time to lose. This is an emergency.